Hi, this is Steve Blair from Solid Angle Support. And in this video, I just want to show you how to set up the license server as a service. Uh, the advantage of doing it as a service is that, you know, it's going to run in the background. It's going to start automatically every time you restart or boot the computer or power it on and off. And you're not going to have to have an open command prompt where you start the license server, you know, by typing a command line uh, to kick things off. So it's going to make things a lot easier in the long run. So we're just going to walk through how to do it. It's pretty simple, uh, though you do have to do one command line um, executable. So uh, to start off, I need a command prompt that I'm running with administrator privileges. You can see administrator. And to do that, just uh, click the start button command. Well, type command.exe and then right click it and click run as administrator uh, because otherwise you won't be able to start the service. So, so that's what I've done. And I put all my files in program files RLM. I mean, you may want to put them somewhere else, but just make sure you have the two XEs and the two solid angle files. And to make it life easier, I put the license file itself in the same folder as rlm.exe. That way I don't have to worry about specifying where it is. It's right there with the RLM executables. So once I have all that set up, all I have to do to install it as a service is rlm-install underscore service dash service name. Well, this is optional, but I want to uh, give it a name a little different. Well, not that different, but just so I can recognize it in the list of services, I'm just going to call it RLM-solid angle. And I'm also going to specify I want a debug log file, d-d -d log. I'm going to have to put this in quotes because I'm going to give it the program files folder. And I'll call it solid angle.dlog. Now, um, every time I start and stop the service, this log will be overwritten. So I could add a plus sign in front to, me to say I want to have this log in append mode. Always append to the existing mode, the existing log, never overwrite it. And that should be it. I'm installing the service. I have the name. I had to tell it where the log file is going to be. So I just press enter. And uh, nothing, but so basically it's installed the service. I just have to start it this first time by myself. So I'm just going to go to the, the task manager first. And if I go to the services tab, just type RLM. So installed it, but didn't start it. So just right click, start the service and get, well, I don't know if you saw that actually. It says access denied. That's because I can't do it from the task manager. I go to the services console. Let me bring that down. So again, the same thing, find RLM dash solid angle. And then I could just start it here or I could right click it and start it. And it's set to automatic, which means it's always going to restart it. It's going to start the service every time you reboot the computer, turn on and off, whatever. And actually you can see the uh, command line that was executed. So that's done. And so I guess the thing, the idea now is that it's actually serving licenses to Arnold. So let's just check that out. I'm going to use soft image. Uh, let's just start, I'll draw a render region. Now, if I hadn't been able to get a license, I would have seen an error down here. And also you can see I'm not getting any watermark. So um, let's just take notepad. I'm going to look, actually, before I do that, just tape deer. Uh, okay, there is a log file there. It says it's zero, but let's check that out. Right, so it has started. Found the license file. And the, you know, in a little bit, it'll actually start writing the licenses went out, licenses went, came back in. I'm just going to watch it. Uh, there it did. Just going to watch it in my text pad because it'll update. So shows the license went out. So now if I go back to soft image, uh, just do stop that and do a preview. Let's, eventually you're going to see that listed here as well. So on to the next the last thing I want to show you. Uh, once you have the license server running, it actually installs a web server that you can use to check things. You don't have to use a text editor necessarily. So localhost colon 5054, just press enter. 
So license server administration interface. So I can check the status. Okay. I could uh, show the last 20 lines of the debug log file. Which and it shows you the path there. And I can check the server status. So I do have one license available. So if you didn't see this at all, that means you know the license server is not up running and it doesn't have a license. So just remember that you do have this web interface to do the admin. You don't always have to go to the command line or check out the file manually. So we see the license is going out and in as Arnold renders. So that's it. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.